right, I'm here to show you my uh, action figure collection. Um, it consists mostly of superheroes, but there's a few movie characters in there. Uh, we'll just start at the beginning here. The first one I ever got was uh, this Batman um, back in 03. Uh, there's the Batmobile. Uh, the first Marvel Legends I got was a Series 1 Captain America. Um, these are all the uh, Marvel superheroes right here. Um, we'll try to zoom in and get the best view. Um, you can see that Series 1 Captain America back there in the back. Um, actually, I have another one though that's still in the package, and that was the, uh, the first superhero that I ever bought uh, for Marvel Legends. And I'm probably not going to let it out of the package. I still got a few figures that aren't coming out. Um, these are off brand superheroes. Maybe some you've noticed from video games or movies. Um, and then we get to my DC superheroes, which is the biggest collection I have. Um, uh, the reason why it's so large is because I've been collecting all the uh, DC build a figures and it's mixed in with DC Direct because some of those are going for really cheap right now. Um, we go to the right a little bit and then we get into my brother's collection uh, Optimus Prime, Reboot, uh, Supernova, Sandman, and uh, Armor Aquaman. And of course, I got He Man with Battle Cat. Um, my brother's Master Chief. Uh, this is Darkseid in the uh, Army of Apocalypse. Uh, Marvel villains, uh, Galactus, Apocalypse, uh, Fing Fang Foom, and the Sentinel, uh, and a Venom. The, the Sentinel build a figure I got for writing a paper for Sarah. I made a perfect score on it. Uh, these are my Marvel villains right here. I got some off-brand villains. Uh, two Hunters from Halo, a Terminator, um, a Conan uh, villain, and a Skeletor with Panthor. And then I got my DC villains. Um, like I said, I got all the DC builder figures, so you'll notice them. And uh, that's it. Like I said, I've been collecting since 2003. And uh, still got some in the package that aren't ever coming out.